this video is for class 9 physics and we are discussing few applications on the principle of flotation. Now, in this particular video, we shall discuss about the flotation of iron ship. Probably you know what principle of flotation is. If you do not know, please watch my previous video. An iron nail sinks in water while an iron ship floats. If you place an iron nail on the surface of water, it sinks basically because of two reasons. Number one, the density of iron is greater than that of water. Number two, the weight of the iron nail is more than the upthrust on the sorry upthrust given by the water on the nail, right? So, but as you all know, iron ship is also made up of iron, right? Ship is also made out of iron. It does not sink. The reason is again. There should be two reasons. Number one, there should be density and the upthrust. Here, the problem is we do not have only the density of iron, we have the average density of iron and air, which is found to be less than that of water, right. Because of this reason, also what happens is even with a small portion of ship summers in water. Right, the weight of the water displaced by the summer's part that is, that is sorry that is upthrust will be equal to the total weight of the ship, will be equal to the total weight of the ship. So, this is the principle of flotation, right. Now, coming to the uh, next point, which is a loaded ship is submerged more while an unloaded ship is less submerged. The loaded ship will be submerged more because the loaded ship has more weight. When cargo is loaded on a sailing ship, its weight increases, so it sinks further. To displace more water till the weight of the water displaced by the submerged part becomes equal to the weight of the loaded ship, right. So, under this condition also the upthrust will be equal to the weight of the ship. If the cargo is unloaded, the ship will rise in water till the weight of the water displaced by the uh, displaced by the ship balances the weight of the unloaded ship. So, under this condition also the upthrust will be equal to the weight of the ship, but this is the unloaded one this is the loaded one right. So, obviously this upthrust will be more than this upthrust right and this weight will be more than this weight, but under the condition of flotation the upthrust is equal to the weight of the floating object, right. So, I hope you have understood this the summer's part, ok. Going to the next topic which is a ship begins to submerge more as it sails from sea water to the river water. This is a very simple reason as sea water will give more upthrust, right. The sea water will give more upthrust than the river water. The reason is the density, right? The density. The water of river is of lower density than that of the sea and the density of the water of different sea is also different. Therefore, when a ship sails from a sea of water of higher density to the sea of a lower density, obviously there will be change in the upthrust, right? Uh, or from a sea water to the river water, it sinks further. The reason is that according to the law of flotation, to balance the weight of the ship, a uh, greater volume of water is required to be displaced in water of lower density in river or sea. So, here uh, more water needs to get displaced to balance the ship because uh, the density is less, right. So, if it is displacing more water means it is sinking more, right. So, it summers more, right. So, next topic is the plimsoll line. Each ship has a white line painted on its side known as the plimsoll line. This line indicates the safe limit for loading the ship in water of density 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube. This is the pure water, right? A ship is not allowed to be loaded further when its plimsoll line starts touching the water level, so that when it sails in sea water or of density uh, more than 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube, only the part of it below the plimsoll line remains submerged in water. So, here the care is taken while loading the ship uh, plimsoll line right is there to indicate the amount of loading to be done in the ship 
right you should not cross the primsol line because if it crosses the primsol line in the sea water then obviously when it is going to the river water it will be submerged more right so it has a probability of sinking or if it is less loaded also it might have a probability of uh, overturning when it goes to a water of higher density so it needs to be very accurate while loading the ship okay so i hope you understood about the primsol line also now going to the next part which is an unloaded ship is filled with the sand at its bottom the region is right uh, the region is become like uh, it might become unstable when it reaches uh, water of higher density an unloaded ship floats with very small volume inside the water as a result its center of gravity is at higher uh, place and it is in and its equilibrium is unstable so what is equilibrium here we shall study this in class 10 in detail right uh, equilibrium is a state where uh, the ship can be balanced it cannot overturn right so there is a danger that it may get blown over on its side by strong winds therefore an unloaded ship is filled with sand or stones uh, called ballast at its bottom this lowers its center of gravity to make sure that it is in the uh, stable equilibrium and does not overturn right now this much for this video in this next video we shall discuss about the flotation of human body